Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about MVJ College of Engineering, MVJCE and I will talk about the placements and the management quota fee structure, everything in this video. So this college uh, started in 1982, so quite old and established college, almost like 40 batches have passed here. And in terms of location, it is location located in Whitefield area of the Bangalore and these are the contact details in case you want to get admission or any other inquiry. So now talking about the credentials in 2024, they have figured in the top best uh, schools in India, in technology schools, in data quest report. And similarly, talking about the campus first, so they have around 15 acres campus, which is located in Whitefield area and 35 plus years of record, as I mentioned. And this is some of the pictures of the main campus. So decent, beautiful campus, not very big campus or not very small, but has got the uh, good amount of amenities and facilities. And they also have an air conditioned fitness center for students. So they have gym facilities for both uh, boys and girls with all the uh, good number of equipments. So these are some of the pictures of the gym infrastructure which is there on the campus and then you have some of the cafe outlets also on the campus. So that's about the facilities and one is they take admission through KSET exam. So this is for the Karnataka domicile students who are from writing CET exam. They can get admission and the other way they can it's a minority institute so there is an exam which is association of minority uh, professional college ampc through that also they can get the admission and they can also get the management quota seat so for management quota students they have minimum criteria is that 60 percent marks in every rate of physics maths and the third subject which could be chemistry biotechnology biology electronics and computers and so this is only for the management quota students and fees of management quota is not very high and you will see in the later part of this video. So for to, to be eligible for management quota also, you should have written one of the exams like KSET or Comet K or J means. If you have written one of the exams, you can apply for management quota as well. Scores are not important, but at least you should have written this exam. Now this is the management quota fees and the AMPCK exam, which is I said minority institute fees. So if you see computer science engineering is available in the fees of only 2,61,470. This is the CS fee, so which is fees is not very high. You can get management quota around 11 to 12 lakhs. And similarly, fees for CSC data science is also under 12 lakhs. You can get in management quota for four years. Same goes with AIML branch, same amount 2,61,477. Information science on Engineering also same same two lakh sixty one thousand so and computer science and design so five branches of computers are there all under two lakh sixty one thousand four seventy seven if you want to do aeronautical engineering it is considered as one of the good options and both aeronautical as well as aerospace are available and the fees is like two lakh three thousand four thirty three for one year ECE engineering in the management quota is also around two lakh three thousand per year. Talking about the ECE specialization branches and others, electronics and communication with ACT, which is a new branch, advanced communication technology, that is also 2,3,000 per year. Uh, electronics and engineering with VLSI design technology, also 2,3,000 per year. Mechanical engineering with 1 lakh rupees and civil engineering with 1 lakh per year. And same with chemical engineering, only, only 1 lakh rupees per year. And two more branches, which is electrical and electronics engineering and industrial IoT. That is also 1,4270. So it's most of the branches are like cassette fees. You can easily afford in the management quota. So in case you have inquiry, you can get in touch with them. Not talking about the placements, how it has happened in the information provided there. So the highest package in 2023 batch, 2024 batch information is not available. This is 2023 highest package was 26 lakhs for the ECE branch student. And some of the companies which are recruiting here, I'm giving a you know sample here. So MU Sigma, one of the uh, data scientist and data analytics company, you can see student from ECE, AIML and the AML specialization branches as well as the decision scientist, five students were selected for this company. So that is MU Sigma. Second, you see this is for Accenture. So around 11 students who got placed in the Accenture. Uh, again, there are a mix of students from different departments. So you can see department of uh, aeronautical, mechanical, right? And uh, mix of all the branches, right? So uh, some more students you can see, even AI students have got job there as well as the other branches. So these were those students. 
then there is a microland which is also a good company in bangalore so engineering train position they have provided so you can see students from isc branch uh, and one from the csc branch here in this picture these are some more students which you, you can see all of those are from the computer science engineering csc department uh, three more students again you can see uh, all from the mix of branches so two are aiml and one student is from csd computer science and design then you have csc csc data science aiml all those students are there from different branch getting the same now this is for other company which is the mines company chemical engineering students getting placed with the a company called mini mines and these are some more students all those on the chemical r d department their internship on the r d department which they got the placements this is another with cognizant so cognizant 24 students got placed right and these are profiles of students in departments of csc and then you see cd which is computer computer science and design department and so on right some more students from computer science design electronics engineering csc department aiml department so it's a mix of students some 24 students who got placed which you are seeing seeing here here so this is extended list and you can see some more students who got placed here and this are again mix of all the branches of computer or the computer specializations this is another placement and these are all 2024 placements academy or company in all the branches students you can see csc students who got placed here and some more four students so eight students getting placed in academy but the profiles are like business development which i would not prefer for csc student now talking about the placements for last year as per the nirf data so this is the information which is updated by all the colleges to uh, nirf for the ranking purpose and if you see last three years data what they have submitted 2022 batch 857 students were there uh, number of students placed was 720 and the median salary was close to 4.5 lakhs and in the next year 2023 they are saying around 796 students uh, passing in this minimum stipulating time and 680 students got placed in the previous batch and median salary remained same 4.5 lakhs and in the latest one you see 2023-24 batch again 792 students were eligible and they all 720 got placed as per them and uh, the minimum medium salary is around 4.75 so medium sal salary is uh, always in the range of 4 to 5 lakhs and highest salary which was shown around 22 lakhs so that's the placement information available up to 2024 and in case you are looking for management quota seats it's not very costly you can go for it uh, if you are not getting much option so that's all i have to update in this video thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in karnataka take care and bye